I would just like to say that I woke up January 1st, 2023, finding out that, quote, the Pope died. Turns out when my mom told me, she didn't realize that there were multiple popes that were still alive, as in Pope Benedict and Pope Francis. I assume Pope Francis died. That was not the case. So yeah, that was a little bit of a shock to, uh, to my New Year's. 2022 is over, and if you're not rolling up with panic disorder or at least an Ozempic prescription, then stay home! Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Tara. If you're not new, hi, my name's Tara. Oh, welcome to 2023 Tara Rad's content. It's it's here, it's it's ready. We're all excited, I'm sure. Every year I've kind of done this thing where I go back and I look at my old content and I kind of you know reflect on it, what I liked, what I didn't like, and kind of talk about what I want to do for the you know the future year coming in. Last year I did one for 2021, which was my first year on YouTube. And this year I'm doing one for 2022, which was my second year on YouTube. I think the biggest difference between that last rewind and uh this rewind i think my first year on youtube and this is i think like something that like a lot of youtubers can you know kind of like relate to is that i think my first year on youtube was really a formative year in me figuring out what type of content i wanted to make i think i experimented a lot with different types of things i did vlogs i did funny videos i did sh short films i think this year was much more of a year where i kind of knew what i wanted to do and i kind of stuck to it i think in 2021 i was kind of in a phase where i was just kind of copying the styles of other people trying to replicate um, their YouTube experiences and trying to make it into mine. But I think in 2022, I kind of figured out my own personal style and I kind of figured out what I liked and I think I catered to that. So I think that's something you'll see in like a lot of these videos that were made last year is a lot more catered to my style, what I like to make, things like that. We see a lot of different unique type of videos that we'll get to. Uh, and yeah, with all that being said, let's just get straight into it. First video I have of the year is obviously the Rewind, which is also gonna be replicated this year, first video of the year. And the Rewind was really fun to make. I think it was cool to kind of look back on how much I had grown, especially because I think there was a lot of visible growth from my first video to like my last video on YouTube. The Hello 2022 video was actually like so cool to make because it, was, it felt so surreal. I also love this outfit in this video. I think it's like so cute and I'm so obsessed with it. From there we go on to my next video, which is my first real short film that got like actual like major attention not to say that naked didn't get major attention but i think gilded specifically like really kind of blew up in terms of like people actually like acknowledging it as a short film especially because considering the topic of the short film and how especially with my audience being a, like you know like younger teenage audience i think it was a film that could speak to a lot of different people and i'm glad that i was able to you know tap into that type of um emotion and i think that the fact that I was able to do that so early on is really cool. I think it's also really interesting, and we'll get to it, that um, I was able to make a remake of the film and actually submit that to colleges and stuff like that. But we'll get to that, we'll get to that. I spent Valentine's Day with the Queen. Oh my god, that was a weird, weird video. I actually don't know where that cardboard cutout went of the Queen. I literally lost it like days after it happened. I'm just happy that I was able to like make like, a, a physical video of the Queen before she actually died. I think that's something, that, I think that's a real success story for Tara Rad. I Turned My Sister Email was a video that was not, I did not like expect that video to like actually like do well. I remember like me and Tina had been holding off on filming it for so long. Cause we just like both didn't really want to do it. And then I ended up doing it and it was actually just the funniest thing. It wasn't even like the actual filming of it was, that was funny. I think it was like the editing process for that. I did a lot of cuts. I did a lot of like little like funny gags and things like that. Tina Rad's video is always like the best videos to do because she's just like such like a, she's such a character. And I feel like it's, it's so fun when I get to work with her and stuff like that. My 200 subscriber special was actually so much fun to record. I got such good dares for that video. And I wish I got the time. Like I was on the like, kind of a time crunch for this video. So I really couldn't like do like all the dares like to their fullest extent. I think if I ever were to do a video like this again, like doing subscriber dares, I would, I would go all out again. Like I, I, I would have to. This video with George was actually so slay. I loved it so much. Actually a fun fact about this video, when I was making the thumbnail, for like the first like couple of hours that the video was up the thumbnail the e was like actually missing from the word special guest so it looked like speckle guest that was kind of funny the relationship with painting video this is literally what made the podcast guys this literally inspired it this painting is actual dog like garbage like i don't even know what i was thinking when making it prettiest piece of art is such an underrated tar rod short film but i honestly love it like i think just they, like these shots are beautiful by the way and also i recorded this on my iphone which is insane when you think about it, because look how beautiful like that is such a beautiful shot and it's just like so perfectly poised 
I loved it. And this is the podcast announcement for my 300 subscriber special. I recorded this in the Cape. The podcast is such an important part of like my life now. I love and going making episodes every other week. It's so much fun. It's double the Tar Rats content. But yeah, uh, it, this was such a fun video to make. It was so exciting to make it because it felt like a new chapter of like Tar Rats and like the ex like it was like the extension of Tar Rats and stuff like that. Live from BU Amp, guys. I miss my BU people so much. I loved BU so much. I I, I will never ever not talk about how much this place means to me and stuff like that you know that was so much fun oh my god i miss be you guys i miss be you so much the school night routine oh my god this video is actually like so fun to make it was the first video i made with using my new camera my sony a7 mark three how do i There you are. And my god, it just is such a beautiful. I, I love how flat it looks. Like this shot, this is such a cool shot. It's just like my reunion vlog. This was such a good vlog. Like I think this is like where I mastered like my vlog format, I think. I like love this. It, it, it's so good. It's short, it's sweet, it's straight to the point, and it's just fun. You know, like it's just fun. Next up is my short films, um, the ones I submitted to college at least. This first film, you with uh, Sam and Neil, uh, I'm Dating Death, this was such a fun film to work on. Sam and Neil are such like actual pros. Like they like were like so down to like anything we tried. They stuck it out during the recording process. They like pulled up, came through, and like Sam especially, Neil doesn't really have a lot of acting in this in terms of like he you really can't see his face. He did great though. I think he was like a real champ with that. Cause like he actually like couldn't see out of that mask, like at all. But Sam especially, like seeing her emotion and seeing her face. This one again was just only for Chapman. But like my next one, Gilded and Gold, this was the one I literally submitted to like all my schools like basically any school that wasn't chapman that had a film prompt or like requirement like a visual requirement i sent them this and guys i'm gonna be honest i think this is my favorite short film i've ever made it was just so magical i think a lot of that was because i had um jack o'sullivan on like camera and like he helped me out so much in terms of like being able to really do a lot with like shots and things like that like, like back when i first made like the original gilded like i couldn't do a ton with like shots and things like that everything had to be stacked because i only had like a tripod basically helping me this entire sequence and like the the rock and roll type of thing that happens afterwards this would have not been possible at all like you know beginning of the year you know what i mean and it's so crazy that i was able to do so much in like the span of a couple months like i literally made gilded at the beginning of like february or whatever and then came out with this like in the same year which is so crazy to me you know what i mean i gilded and gold it is a passion project of mine it is such an important piece to me and i i i wouldn't i wouldn't be the person i am without this film and it truly it truly has helped me in so many different ways and it's had a lot of other people too so that's also pretty cool and with that we come to our final video of the year which is my annual winter competition type video no this was a fun video to make uh it was something that like definitely went off the rails in terms of like what happened afterwards the cleanup for this video was an actual nightmare like i cannot tell you marco is okay i think i should say that yeah marco he went through a lot in this video <laughs> this shot specifically this is such an insane it's the focus to oh my god it was actually insane the winner of this competition was uh marco even though his gingerbread house was unfortunately very much destroyed uh he won the uh gingerbread house competition he donated his 50 dollars to um homeboy industries it's a really great it's a really great charity and i implore all of you to check it out more um but i'm so i'm, I'm really happy that you know marco was able to take his trauma from this video and put it towards something good so yeah with all that being said uh that is my 2022 discography dis discography discography i don't even know what i'm saying anymore but yeah this year was just such a fun year i think i really was able to come into my own as a filmmaker i really came into my own as like a person who was making content i think i really now know like what i want to do so much good came from this year for starters i now have a whole new rebrand thank god i don't know if you guys remember my old profile picture it was literally me in a tie-dye jumpsuit outside of a basketball court at night objectively this is a better photo like objectively speaking last year was just such a good year you know what i mean and i am so excited to, in 2023 to just kind of ride off the high of 2022 and continue making unique personal and just 
expressive content. The next video coming out will in fact be my new hello intro video. I'll be making a video all about my college journey. I've actually been filming my reactions to um, my uh, my college like uh, decision letters and stuff like that. So you'll see all of those. I'll talk about film school. I'll talk about the process. I'll talk about everything in between. But yeah, uh, overall, I've had a I've had a great year. I've had such an enjoyable year, and I look I so look forward to 2023. And I hope you guys all stick around and see all the amazing content I'm gonna make this year. Well, all that being said, I'm gonna close off this video because it's actually currently 11:50 at night, and I need to go to bed. I have to go to school in the morning. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel, guys. We are actually so close to. 400 subscribers we have 390 right now let's get to 400 let's do it if you want to hear more discussion about my year of 2022 um go to my podcast uh if you insist with tar rats on spotify apple Podcasts, everywhere podcasts exist because basically basically follow me on all my other socials instagram twitter tiktok all that fun stuff if nobody else loves you in this world i most certainly do hope you guys all have an amazing amazing day have an amazing amazing 2023 and i will hear from you guys very very soon Bye bye I literally haven't even completed my art history homework and I'm sitting here filming a YouTube video and I think that's just an expression of my character and who I am as a person and and everything in between. Oh my god.